welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just be notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have a super exciting one because I am going to be doing a full face of 17 cosmetics I've been meaning to film this video for a little while now 17 cosmetics has been out for a few months now I think. They were around years ago but then they discontinued and now they've brought them back which is really exciting because this is an affordable makeup brand and when I say affordable I mean everything is literally under five pounds like it's such an affordable makeup brand. I love testing out affordable makeup for you guys um, and seeing what's good and what's not good. Um, just a bit of disclaimer, Seventeen Cosmetics did send me a lot of the products in this video um, but some of the stuff I did pick up myself so we have a little bit of a mixture there. But if you'd like to see a full face of Seventeen Cosmetics, see what I use and also see what I thought of them, then please keep watching. Okay, firstly, let's prime my face. So I'm going to be using the Matte Base Perfection Oil Control Primer. They did have another one, I think it was more illuminating, but you know me, I love my matte primers, so we're going to give this one a go. And by the way, all of this, I think it's like under £5, so it's extremely affordable. It comes in a squeezy tube like this. Let's see the consistency. Oh, wow, okay. So it literally looks like a thick moisturizer interesting i cannot tell you how excited i am to film this video i have been meaning to do this for ages but i just needed to get a few more bits to do like a full face sort of thing but yeah i'm so excited i do love a good affordable drugstore brand wow okay that is definitely a matte primer but it looks so smooth on the skin why do i look so red today <laughs> um yeah it looks so so smooth extremely matte like there's no shininess at all it's completely matte and it's drying down as well which is great for us oily skin people because there's nothing worse in when you need to wear makeup for a long day and then all of your like base products are all shiny and stuff because i just i don't know i just feel like they're not going to last long whereas this has like pretty much completely dried down i really like the consistency of that i don't think i've got a primer like this and i mean i've got a lot of primers but this is like almost like a moisturizer that dries down matte very interesting next to foundation i chose the second skin enhancing foundation they did have another one but that was more of like a cc cream so it's a little bit less coverage obviously i don't know what coverage this is like i literally have not watched any videos on 17 because I just don't want to influence my own opinion. I tend to do that with reviews. I don't actually watch them until I've done it myself. Okay, so I got mine in the shade 002N and this has 30ml of product in it. Again, it has that squeezy tube applicator. I think I'm just going to squeeze this on my face. Oh, that looks a bit yellow. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I've put that on for now. I'll probably put on too much. And obviously, I don't know if this is going to work best with a brush or a sponge. So I'm just going to go in with my brush to start off with okay so i've just patted that all in with a brush and i'm just going to go in with my sponge to kind of smooth this out a bit because i definitely didn't need as much as i applied and by the way this is too light for me which is not something i say often but i did go to the beach last weekend and caught a bit of color on my face so that is probably why it's a bit too light for me. I was just reading the back of the foundation and it says it's a long lasting liquid foundation with medium coverage for a natural healthy looking base. Obviously I've got the matte primer on underneath but this did dry down quite quick and I feel like you do need to move quickly with it. Um, I'd say the coverage is really good. I do have a few blemishes going on and I feel like it has covered them quite well. It's definitely medium. I wouldn't say it's full, full coverage. So again, agree with that claim. And it looks nice and smooth on my skin. I don't feel like it looks too cakey or anything. If I just come forward and show you, can you see how I've definitely got some of my real skin, you know, peeking through. 
um, but it doesn't look cakey and it feels like really it has like a really thin texture to it so it's not too heavy or anything just is nice on the skin it's just not too much you know it's just a nice thin layer of foundation okay next we have the second skin enhancing concealer so hopefully this is like a similar formula this is what the packaging looks like super cute i mean obviously the packaging is quite basic but you're paying less than five pound for everything so you know can't complain too much and this is what the doe foot looks like it's quite an elongated doe foot and it is a little bit bendy I don't know what shade did I get this in I've got this in 2n again so I'm just going to conceal in my usual areas Okay, so this is my base with the foundation and concealer. I am very impressed with the coverage of them both. I'm not going to lie. For really, you know, affordable foundations, you don't really think that they're going to be any good. But trust me, there are some really good drugs for foundations that are even a fiver and they're so, so good. Um, but yeah, my base looks really smooth. Has really nice coverage. I'd say under my eyes, it hasn't given me the best coverage. But still for like an everyday concealer when you don't want to wear too much it's perfect um but yeah i think my base looks really smooth i have got a tiny tiny little bit of a glow i don't know if, i think that's probably from the concealer um but i don't know i think my base is looking pretty good so far so we actually have two cream products to try before we set my face down firstly we're going to pop on this cream blush this is the packaging and they gave me the shade peach dreams i love a good peach blush packaging very similar to the foundation oh my god i thought that was going to splatter everywhere then okay i'm just going to dot a tiny amount on first because i don't know what the pigment's going to be like and i don't know if this dries down quickly so i'm just going to do one side at a time cream blush is on i did use a brush as you could see and i do feel like a brush helps with the pigmentation it has quite a thin texture to it again so i feel like if you used a sponge the sponge is just going to soak up a lot of the pigment and um, but with a brush it applies it beautifully on the skin and this is a stunning like everyday sort of peach color i really like it and again it has that kind of like smooth look on my skin and it does have a little bit of a glow as well. Next, we have some liquid highlighter. They gave me the shade 020 Rose. This one, I'm just gonna blend out with my finger. So that's the liquid highlighter on. I think that looks really beautiful. The color is gorgeous as well on my skin tone. I can see that there's shimmer particles in there. But that means when we set our base down that the shimmer particles should show through. So you should be able to still see this underneath powder. Okay, so those are all the cream products on my face. And now we're going to set it in place with this loose powder. This is a super flattering silky finish powder which easily sets makeup in place while giving your complexion the glow it deserves. Oh, okay, well that scares me. Perfecting finish translucent powder. There was a pressed powder but I opted for loose. Hmm. No, it does, it does look just like a regular powder, so fingers crossed it's okay. It does look very like, almost like flour, like that you eat. <laughs> you don't eat flour, you put it in stuff. But anyway, let's set this base. Blaze, let's set this base down. My face is looking extremely matte right now, but this is what my base is looking like. As I said, you can definitely still see the shimmer particles on my cheekbones, which is nice. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the rest of my face is like, I'm not even joking, completely mattified. So if you've got oily skin, these products I've been using definitely are going to help your makeup last longer. Time to, you know, bronze up this skin because I'm looking very pale, even compared to my neck, I feel like I look a little bit pale. So they do do a bronzer. This is the Glow and Definer bronzer. I got mine in the shade 010. And it's just in this packaging and this is what the shade looks like. I think this is the lightest shade.
Okay, my face definitely looks a bit better now that I've bronzed up. I feel like I'm a little bit alive. Um, I don't have a contour, so this is like the only thing I'll be able to bronze with today. But really nice powder. The shade is good for fair skin. I am like, I mean, I'm not my palest at the moment, so I can definitely get away with a slightly dark bronzer. But this bronzer is like perfect for like normal pal Alex. I don't have a powder blush either. They do do powder blush. But I don't know. I just don't have one. So I am going to take highlighter next, a powder highlighter. This is the Lights On Highlighter Powder and I have the shade 010 Champagne. Again, it looks like a beautiful shade for a fair to light skin tune. It is, you know, a bit on the more like powdery side. You can tell that like, these are super affordable. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely tried highlighters that are better than this. It's not terrible, it's just a very powdery highlighter and you have to layer it in order to get to like this finished result. And even then, I still don't think like it is, it's not my normal cup of tea. You know, you know, if you watch my channel normally, you know I love a good blinding highlighter. This is definitely more of like a glowy, highlighter powder it's still good like don't get me wrong that i feel like that would be quite blinding for a lot of people but for me i have highlighters in my collection that are highlighted uh, highlighters what i have highlighters in my collection that are blinding or like pigmented straight off the bat whereas this one i did have to build up in a few layers so it's not bad for you know how much you pay for it the color's actually really nice it is a gold yellow yellow gold okay so that's all the base products i've got they do do sprays as well but i didn't get around to picking one of those up um but this is the finished base look i feel like my skin is looking very matte very good coverage and very smooth and i still feel i feel really soft actually like this powder is so soft on the skin i actually really love it um so i'm gonna zoom you in and we can get on with the eyes okay i've just popped some brows on because i didn't get any brow stuff um but we're gonna move on to eyeshadow so they sent me this like really pretty palette this is called the 020 pinks they also sent me like four um single shadows that look like this and then also this little powder pigment if it wants to focus there we go that's what it looks like but i am feeling doing something a bit minimalistic on the eyes i think i might use this because it has some gorgeous everyday tones in it and then we have some liners and mascara to use as well for my base i don't have an eye base i think they did have one but i didn't get it get it so i'm just gonna pop on a little bit of the concealer just to give me a little bit of a tacky base okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this shade here and i'm going to pop that in my crease okay next i'm going to take this like cream sort of shadow and I might mix it with a little bit of that shade as well um, and I'm gonna blend out the outer edge okay so now that I've blended that all out I think I'm gonna use this shimmer here hello don't focus on me there we go I think I'm gonna use this shimmer here and I'm just gonna pop that at like the front of my lid this is what the shimmer looks like. That is what the shimmer looks like. It is very, very shimmery and blends in like perfectly with that shadow we've got on. And then for my low lash line, I'm just going to go back in with that first shade. There's not really a lot of mattes in this palette, to be honest. So I'm just working with kind of what we've got. And then for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take this shade here, the lightest shimmer, of course. It is a little bit powdery. Okay, so that's the uh, eyes 
done in terms of eyeshadow i definitely think there could have been a couple more mattes in there like imagine if like this was a, a deep matte um and we needed like a lighter like sort of transition shade than this um but it's really cute for every day if you literally just want to put one or two shades in your crease kind of like just what i've done today um so we're going to apply some liner to like elevate this look a little bit so i have here their eye flix pen so this is just like a pen eyeliner and look how good the tip looks it looks a bit of me so i'm gonna draw a wing i've been doing wings a lot recently um i'm still not you know the best at them but i shall try they did also send me this blue liquid liner if it wants to focus this is like a liquid oh my god if i can open it this is like a liquid i mean they're all both liquid but this is i don't know how to explain it like a a brush tip whereas this is like a felt tip um and blue doesn't really go with this shadow so that's why i'm not using that one but let's use this and draw a wing i'm definitely not the best at wings um i can never get it right because i've hooded eyes but you know it is what it is so this is the eyeliner i'm not gonna lie this is not the best eyeliner i've ever tried okay we're just gonna I'm gonna leave it there before i mess it up even more but as i was saying the liner formula itself is not the best it's really black which i'm really impressed with but the actual like liner formula or brush tip or applicator however they've done it it doesn't last long so i have to go back in like shake it a little bit to get more of the product out but that's pretty much the only negative thing to say i love how long like the actual tip is i feel like i can hold my pen back quite far away while mapping out where i'm going to put my liner so i do love the length of the tip that's what she said and i also love how black it is i just wish the formula would last a little bit longer you know okay we're going to put on some mascara they've sent me two i think i'm going to use this one because this one is like a blue color but this is the extreme extension lengthening mascara and it is a full-on hello full-on blue mascara but yeah we're not playing with color necessary today so i'm gonna go in with this one here which is the ultimate lasting definition mascara and this is what the wand looks like on it and let's hope this is good trying to scratch off this little these specks of mascara but it's just not having any of it um but anyways these are my finished eyes with the mascara i'm not gonna lie it's not the best drugstore mascara i've ever tried nothing will ever top essence uh, lash princess that is like the, the cheapest best mascara i have in my whole collection i absolutely love it this is fine it's not terrible but it takes a long while to build like the first couple of layers I, I was like is that it like it barely did anything but if you let the first layer dry and then build on that level level layer it looks better obviously i have got thick liner on as well so it is going to be hard to see the mascara as well but i'm hoping you can definitely see my lashes they are like giving like i can see my lashes it's basically a really nice everyday mascara if you don't like too much mascara you will like this if you prefer you know your thick chunky black thick lashes i don't think you're gonna like this but it's cute for every day okay so i've zoomed you out so we can do the final part which is lips i have three different lip products here i firstly have the high shine lip crayon in the shade rose kisses and that looks like this and then they sent me two bullet lipsticks firstly we have the shade blushing nude open that upside down which is typically the one that i would go for it looks like this but because our eyes are quite minimal i thought today we would go for the red and this is the shade ruby this is what it looks like okay let's pop this on i 
I have not worn a red lip in ages and this is such a gorgeous colour. The lips is so creamy and easy to use. I really like this. Okay, so this is my full face of 17 Cosmetics. I am so relieved that I finally filmed this video. I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. Uh, we definitely had some hits and misses in these videos, I think. I mean, that's always good to see what is good and what isn't from a brand. Not every product a brand releases is gonna be perfect, but I did love the majority of the stuff in this video. And the base products, can I just say, I'm extremely impressed with. The, the stuff that I wasn't a fan of was mainly the eye stuff. Like, everything else, really loved the base stuff this primer wherever it's gone is amazing if you've got oily skin like me and you want products to make your makeup last longer definitely check this out like it's literally a moisturizer that dries down and it looks so smooth on your skin so i'm so impressed with that primer foundation concealer really good cream blush like even the liquid highlighter the powder loved literally every bright base product i tried i really loved um as i said the only things that let me down a little bit were the eye products but the lipstick was really nice as well so i'd say overall we have had quite a positive experience with a lot of these products and yeah i can't wait to see what else that they bring out okay so i'm gonna wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what is your favorite item i tested in today's video or if you've tried 17 cosmetics please let me know down below what you think of them and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye